Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Again, my name is Dwayne Butler. I'm with Castles and Attics. I'm going to show you some of the smalls I've collected here. Looks like the last two weeks, uh, all the way up through Saturday, September 4th. Just going to show you about a half dozen items, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them, and uh, let you know that they are for sale, and uh, either they'll be on my website soon, or uh, at a nearby auction, or, or a local uh, consignment shop I possibly use. But uh, we'll just start right in, okay? In no particular order, uh, this basically came uh, from riding around on a trip. If you've never seen this, this is Brush McCoy. I can't, don't know if you can see this real close, but look at the pinch top and the pinch sides. And let's see, I came from Ohio, and I, in my 15 years of buying and selling antiques, have never seen this piece. Uh, but I recognize the glaze, the onyx glaze there, and uh, I had to have it. I knew it was a good piece. It was only $20 with 15% off, and my research has come to find that basically one sold on eBay that was brown, and this is blue, and uh, it sold for $65. So I think I have a nice little find here, but uh, just found that in a nice antique shop. Okay? At the auction, uh, not the Saturday the 4th, but the auction before that, I stopped at an auction and bought one item before I left. And this is it, a little tramp art piece, nice details, a lot of work, uh, not a lot of value, but uh, still something I like, a little folky, naive, not anything over the top, but you got to enjoy the craftsmanship of something like this. Let me move some items out of my way here. Uh, that same Saturday afternoon, last Saturday, I went ahead out to an auction, and this guy was sitting on the floor. Look how big he is. My good friend Dan Ripley will probably get to sell this for me. Dan is a specialty uh, Italian glass specialty seller, and uh, he's with Antique Helper. But uh, look at the size of that figure. Look at the details and the gold. Nothing says Italy like gold flex. But uh, he's just strumming a happy chord, and he's just a joyful person, and uh, I'm really happy to found him. We'll see what he does in auction. Let's see. Now, the reason why I started from way back last Tuesday is I have to show you this. I walked into a little shop. I wouldn't have given uh, the amount of money I paid for this for everything in the building. But this was there, and let's just say it was under three figures that I paid for it. And there is an absolutely wonderful mice and tray, all signed, handle, square, uh, and it is in perfect condition. Uh, how fortunate am I to get all these hand-painted flowers and to find a piece like this? That was one of my favorite finds, easily $500. Here's a couple little small pieces of artwork. Uh, again, I showed you the big pieces I found uh, Saturday night going around. But this is a wood block I found at a local antique shop. It was $25, and uh, it's a Shoshan Kosan. There you go, a little snipe at the water well, and uh, it's eating away there. Early wood block, great little piece, very affordable, should easily, easily uh, quadruple, if not quintuple, my money there, okay? As well, uh, this is the part of my show that's sinking. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but uh, I had to buy this. Um, I found this at the same place I found the Mission Oak. Piece. It was $10, and I've never seen one. I've never seen a shoe last that is one solid piece. We always see the parts and the, the uh, adaptable ones that would make sense, but look at this bad dude. Uh, makes for a great doorstop. I think I priced it at $49, and uh, I think it should sell for that. Very, very early primitive. And as well at that shop, here is a wonderful Mission Oak called Hunting Morning Lithograph. Incredible uh, details, probably an, an etching, I shouldn't say lithograph, colored etching, with a Mission Oak frame, um, original back, never been played with, but uh, how happy am I to have found that. Guys, I really appreciate you coming and uh, spending your few minutes of viewing what I found and uh, check back with me. I'll try to get something up about every week or two and uh, thanks again.